In this video, we're going to talk about Guitar Pro 6's drum notation. In this new project, we're going to create a new track to which we're going to assign some drums. To do so, we're going to go into the track menu, add track. You may also use the plus sign, which is found right underneath your score. And we're going to select a drum patch. Notice how the notation of the track we just created corresponds to the drum notation. If you aren't too familiar with the drum notation, it would be beneficial to spend a little time learning where the different notes are placed. In order to see where the different notes go, go to the View menu and use the Fretboard, Keyboard, Drums menu. One of the unique features that a drum notation is that the same note can be played in numerous ways. Let's take for example the snare. A snare could be played with three different types of variations. A hit, a rim shot, and a sidekick. These three different sounds are going to correspond to the three first numbers of the numeric pad. One, two, and three. In this particular example, three different sounds can be entered on the same note, which is C. Once a note has been entered, you can assign to it a rhythm value by using the editing panel. In this case, we'll pick an eighth note. Let's now add a second note by using the right arrow on our keyboard to move to the next rhythm value. We'll enter a second eighth note. On that second note, we're going to use the key 2 in order to enter a rim shot. This rim shot is also found on the C note, but because we use different keys, we're going to have two different types of sounds. Let's move back to our first note to which we'll add a kick. If you're unsure as to which note is assigned to a kick, let's go back into the View menu, Fretboard, Keyboard, Drums. And here we can see that the sound we're looking for is found on the F note. We're going to enter this F note. To do so, we can either go back to our score place our cursor on the F and use the 1 key, or simply select the sound we wish to enter directly in this window. It is possible to create a full drum track entirely from this window. Simply click on the directional arrows on your keyboard and click on the note you want to enter. If you make a mistake, you can simply use the Delete button on your keyboard. Guitar Pro 6 also allows you to use a MIDI instrument to enter your notes. You can select your MIDI device by going into the Sound menu, MIDI Capture. If you're using a MIDI guitar, make sure that you click on the corresponding option. And set the delay corresponding to the type of response you want to get. Notice that when you're using a MIDI instrument to track in Guitar Pro 6, the software is not going to take into consideration the rhythm values of the notes that you're playing. It's only going to take into consideration the pitch. The rhythm value needs to be set in the software. Guitar Pro 6's drum notation also allows us to enter certain variations to the individual notes. Let's enter a snare. We'll now use a grace note just before the snare by clicking on the grace note icon found in the editing panel. Now that our ghost note is entered, we're going to use the right arrow on our keyboard, and then we'll enter another note. The previous grace note is played before the time. Now I'm having two notes, and if I play my score, I'll be able to hear the grace note played right before the time. You may also use the ghost notes, accented notes, heavily accented notes, and staccato. All these tools will allow you to create effective, dynamic, realistic drum tracks in Guitar Pro 6.